please rise. Holy God, we In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us prepare our hearts to enter the sacred mysteries by recalling to mind our sins and asking the Lord for pardon. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, Pour into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and Timothy, our brother, to the holy ones and faithful brothers and sisters in Christ in Colossae, grace to you and peace from God our Father. We always give thanks to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, when we pray for you. For we have heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and the love that you have for all the holy ones because of the hope reserved for you in heaven. Of this you have already heard through the word of truth, the gospel that has come to you. Just as in the whole world it is bearing fruit and growing, so also among you from the day you heard it and came to know the grace of God in truth, as you learned it from Epaphras, our beloved fellow slave, who is a trustworthy minister of Christ on your behalf, and who also told us of your love in the Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I trust in the mercy of God forever. I trust, trust in the mercy of God forever. I like a green olive tree in the house of God, trust in the mercy of God 
forever and ever. I trust in the mercy of God forever. I will thank you always for what you have done and proclaim the goodness of your name before your faithful ones. I trust, I trust in the, the mercy, mercy of God, God forever. forever. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor and to proclaim liberty to captives. Alleluia. We bless us, Father. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. After Jesus left the synagogue, he entered the house of Simon. Simon's mother-in-law was afflicted with a severe fever, and they interceded with him about her. He stood over her, rebu rebuked the fever, and it left her. She got up immediately and waited on them. At sunset, all who had people sick with various diseases brought them to him. He laid his hands on each of them and cured them. And demons also came out from many, shouting, You are the Son of God. But he rebuked them and did not allow them to speak, because they knew that he was the Christ. At daybreak, Jesus left and went to a deserted place. The crowds went looking for him. And when they came to him, they tried to prevent him from leaving them. But he said to them, to the other towns also, I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God, because for this purpose I have been sent. And he was preaching in the synagogues of Judea. The Gospel of the Lord. One of the truth of the scriptures that was highlighted for me today was listening to Paul greeting the Colossians in our first reading. Paul says, we give thanks to God when we pray for you. Today, let us reflect upon this duty of charity to pray for others as Paul did for the Colossians. We know, we recognize that we do this at Mass. During our intercessions, we pray for others. During the Eucharistic prayer, we hear references to praying for our brothers and sisters. And of course, that's only if we pay attention. If we pay attention, then yes, we are praying for others. But today, let us try to do this throughout our day, praying for those that we encounter, those who maybe need our prayers, those who we live with, who we work with, maybe who we go to school with. For we recognize it is an act of charity to pray for our brothers and sisters. Let us pray for our brothers and sisters. For, the, for a spirit of compassion and fidelity throughout the universal church, let us pray to the Lord. Lord pray. For those in harm's way in Afghanistan, that they may be peacefully brought home, let us pray to the Lord. For a wise and gentle solution to social problems in our society, let us pray to the Lord. 
for the women and men in our community that serve others tirelessly in the name of Jesus Christ, let us pray to the Lord. For an end to the COVID pandemic and healing for those who have it, let us pray to the Lord. For all those who are sick and who are dying, for those who have died, for those whose names are written in the St. Jude Book of Intentions, let us pray to the Lord. And for the repose of the soul of Juan Covarrubias, whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we ask you to receive the prayers as we pray for one another. We lift them up to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation that what it celebrates in mystery, it may accomplish in power, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him, through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, 
all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Edward, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, and the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For those of you at home, let us pray the prayer of spiritual communion together. 
My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already in my heart and unite myself to you completely. Please do not let me ever be separated from you. Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts to st and stir us to serve you in our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Mm -hmm. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying our Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Immaculate Mary.